A Pew study says that 53% of white liberal women have a mental disorder. Over half of leftist women are actually insane. The study examined white liberals, moderates, and conservatives, both male and female. They found that conservatives were far less likely to be diagnosed with mental health issues, and that white women who are liberal were diagnosed as mentally ill at 56.3%. Conservative women at less than half that. This is not news to those of us who know what's going on. Someone recently said that people who read the news know what's happening. People who read the Bible know why. Conservatism is inextricably linked to Christianity, which is inextricably linked to good mental health and good moral standards, which is more important than many people think. The genuine Christian faith is the number one mental health program in the universe. When God, the creator of all life, brings a lost man or woman into his eternal family, he gives them new life and gives it abundantly. Here's a wild bill bullet of truth for America. Most of what the world calls mental illness is really deep-seated sin issues. Men and women living in rebellion against God, nature, and often their own biology. Humans were designed to live in harmony with their creator, and when they live without him, it tears them up mentally, physically, and spiritually. If conservatism is linked to Christianity, guess what liberalism is inextricably linked to? The exact opposite. Demonism. Evil. Liberalism is the face of evil in America today. It deliberately and intentionally goes against God's moral authority. Think about it. They are on the wrong side of every moral issue, every time. Sexuality, family, government, education, economics, energy, environment, politics, wrong side of everything, <laughs> and it's making them crazy. Liberals have near total control of our institutions, and they are dragging the nation down to destruction. That's all they know how to do. If you want to escape your mental illness, step one is getting right with your creator, becoming the man or woman you were created to be. As long as you are marching to the liberal drumbeat, you might as well be listening to crazy train through your earbuds because that's the train you're on and its destination is hell with a miserable trip along the way. If you're tired and weary of low moral life and the angry, mentally ill people of the left, then walk away. Seek the face of your Creator God. He's not far away. But know this, there's only one door that leads you to God and that is Jesus Christ, the Son of God who died on the cross to pay for all the stupid bad things you have said and done. Repent and believe the gospel message and you shall be saved. God will take your craziness and replace it with his peace and you will no longer be on the crazy train to hell. You'll be firmly on the stairway to heaven. Oh yes, and you can fire your therapist. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching and America bless God again.